In today's video, we're using the green screen effect or chroma key effect in Camtasia. So you can create training videos and tutorials where you're sat in front of the content that you're delivering. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. First thing we're going to do is open up Camtasia and bring in that green screen footage that we need. Now here I have my green screen footage. So I'm going to just drag this file into my Camtasia timeline. As you can see here, we have our green screen footage and this is just some video that was recorded of myself standing in front of a green screen. Now, once you have your footage, you can add an effect to quickly remove the green screen or any other color from your video footage. Now, in order to do that, you're going to go to the left-hand side and find the effects. So here on the left-hand side, we're going to click on more and then find our visual effects. Under visual effects, we're going to scroll down and find remove a color. This is the chroma key effect. I'm going to drag this on top of our clip. This will now automatically create that extra menu on the right hand side. And now we can select the color we would like to remove. So I'm going to click on the color icon and then click on select color from image. I'm going to click and select to remove this color here in the back. Once I click on this, it automatically removes the color from my video footage. So as you can see, I now no longer have this footage in the back. But you do still see a little bit of that green around my shoulders and on the right hand side down in the corner. That is where we start tweaking the tolerance, softness and hue. So here I'm going to just up the tolerance a little bit. That way we're going to remove even more of that green. We can also make it a bit softer. And there we go. As you can see, now that green has been removed and you no longer see it in those corners. Another thing we can do now is we can resize this footage. So let's say that you're creating a tutorial video and you have some footage recorded of your screen. Well, you can resize your video footage and then have yourself in front of the footage. So here, as I resize this, you can see I can resize it and place it in the corner down below. When I press play, we can replace the back. The video will automatically play and that green color has been removed from the footage. So using this one simple visual effect within Camtasia, you can quickly remove any color and you can quickly create videos like this one. Now this is some footage taken in front of a green screen. Now I'm standing in front of a green painted wall, but you could use any other option. You can use a green piece of fabric or you could even purchase a green screen specifically made for green screen video. You can find a number of links in the description below. Now what makes chroma keying or green screen so special is that we can key out the background. And so very easily we can replace the background with a different location or different footage. We can even resize this footage to then easily fit into the corner of your video. Now, another thing we can do with green screen is we can create special effects. So for example, I have this green object, which at the moment you can see, but I can place an object on top of this. So let's go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I am now placing this Lego object on top of the green bucket, but with chroma key and the green screen effect, I can make it appear as if these objects are flying. And this is one technique that you can use with green screen that will really add to what is possible in your video footage. And that's how you can use the green screen or chroma key effect within Camtasia 2021. Now I'll leave some links in that description below. There's a discount code, an affiliate link, everything you need to get started with Camtasia and to start playing around with chroma key and green screens. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video, share it with someone, let YouTube know that you find this sort of content useful and that I can create even more videos on topics you're interested in. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.